radio and it's still the afternoon business show it's time for the investors education series and i have here with me in the studio mr csu and you and today we'll be looking at the benefits of investing in the capital market this particular topic is going to be a series because it is quite broad uh, so I would encourage you to look out for subsequent series. Also, you can send in your questions via our WhatsApp line is zero zero nine seven nine one zero zero seven four. Also, you can leave your comments and questions as well under this uh, video streaming live on Facebook. It's www.facebook.com slash Street Radio. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much, Gina. Uh, great to be back to you, particularly to handle the topic investors education series. Under Investors Education Series, we have tried to educate investors, educate you on everything that we consider important to you. Today, we are handling a topic of importance, particularly for beginners and people undecided on whether to come into the capital market or not. At the end of this, I'm very sure you will understand better why you need to be a partaker in this all-important segment of our business life. What is the benefit of investing in capital market instruments? Some may ask. Maybe that's what has held you back all this period. You haven't decided to get into the capital market business. Now, in the capital market business, it's not only shares. Some of you think that it's only shares that we have to sell. But there are so many other instruments. We take them one after the other. We take up shares today. As much as we can go, we go. Shares are called equities. They are also called ordinaries. So whichever one, whichever name you know it by, we are saying one and the same instrument that is called shares. And shares are very simple to define. Just the, as the name suggests, shares are authority or, or sign of ownership, if you like, instrument saying I own part of. So when you say, when you say I own 10,000 units of First Bank, you can afford to stick your neck and say, I own part of First Bank to the extent of the shares you own. Having said that, what are the benefits? Why should you really invest in shares? The first and the very prominent reason why you must invest in shares is that it's an investment. It's an investment and every investment has its benefits. Peculiar to shares are dividends. The word dividend, whenever you hear it, it applies to shares. Now, what is dividend? Cash reward for investing in shares. That's what dividend is. Cash reward for investing in shares. How do we arrive at that? How do you get dividend? You get dividend for the, from the current year's profit. A company you invested in, take anyone for that matter, at the end of the accounting year, they will render account of their stewardship to you in a formal gathering that is called AGM. In the AGM, they tell you, within, during the period under operation, we made so and so and so amount of gross profit, we made so and so amount of net profit. From the net profit, we are paying you dividend. And for every share you have, you get this. That's how dividends are arrived at. So the first benefit of investing in shares is dividend. Dividend is cash reward for investment. The second benefit of investing in shares is bonus. Bonus is non-cash dividend. I would like to handle them next to the other so that you will not be confused. Bonuses are non-cash dividends. What is bonus? Bonus is shares given to you and you did not pay for it, particularly not at that time. I want to be sure you are getting the word. You paid for it, but not at that time. I want you to be note it exactly. Because it is, most of the time, appropriated from reserves. It could be reserve of over two, three years or four. And they have kept it in the bank, sorry, in the system for you. And they decided to capitalize the reserve. And then they give you bonus. Now, in the language of bonus, you hear one for three, two for four. That's the kind of language you hear. And bonuses are additional shares given to you because you invested in the company. Now, assuming that you had 10,000 units of First Bank and they paid a bonus of one for four, it means that you are getting 2,500 more 
of that same shares so your holding will become 12,500 that's the way those things are so it's a benefit and investors look up to that because it increases their holdings and when it increases your holding when next they pay dividend you'll be paid on the one you had before plus the bonus that you received the previous year and it adds up to your dividend every year so people look up to dividend to bonus but lately i must note that we haven't seen a lot of that the pandemic and the lockdown and the meltdown were part of the reason why there haven't been much of bonuses over the years in recent times particularly but there was a time we were getting bonus every year it was common and certain companies were paying every year that was while the economy uh, was was in the boom bonus dividend are the first two i have mentioned now the third benefit of investing in shares is what we call capital gain capital gain in a very simple language is you bought first bank at seven naira and first bank has become eight naira there is a gain of one naira on your investment of seven naira now the one naira is capital gain very simple to understand i believe you do understand it uh, so capital gains and people who trade who buy and sell shares make a lot of capital gain in that just sense that's why that's what drives that segment of the market whenever you hear that somebody is trading on his shares is he simply trying to get the capital gain from 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 the price each time and that is why there is up and down in price movement of of the market people who bought at a particular price are waiting for it to get to a particular price and they exit and then you will get in as the exit that's the market for you so capital gain is a benefit that accrues to you if you could hold it for a period after buying it and the price appreciates the next benefit of investing in shares is what i what we call board membership board membership the way to get into the board the way to become a board member of a quoted company is to acquire interest in the company up to a level that will warrant your going in now there is no hard rules about what qualifies you to go to the board there are so many ways to go to the board the first way is get acquiring interests controlling interest most of the companies on the stock exchange if you have 10 percent holding of that company you are almost there the next is a walkover so if you want to go to the board of a company acquire shares in the company to the level that you can you could come to the board because you put your amount where your money is in if you come to agm for instance the way they take decision is like this a matter is on board and they are deciding on it and i have ten thousand units of first bank for instance and you have a million units if i raise my hand up it will be counted as ten thousand hands and the person who has a million raises his hand up it will be one million hands so the more you have the more you can the money you'll be hard so that's the truth about it so the way to go to the board is to acquire interest such that nobody will ignore you of course that's not the only way we could gang up and send the person to the board and i've seen it happen four or five people who didn't have block shares that are big now accumulate their shares together and send one person to the board that's allowed and that could happen so that's another way of course networking uh, I, I will not forget that um, one man who wanted to go to the board i didn't know him he was able to get information about the company and block holdings across board and visited uh, certain people who have interest and i remember he came around and said we know you people have so, so and so and so and i want to go to the board i know you don't want to go would you back me give me your proxy card sign it for me and i will use it to go we did because we didn't want to go that year so um, going to the board is easy if you have controlling interest if you have a sizable chunk of the company's shares if you are able to network and agree with somebody and you go to the board so board membership is a benefit and what is the benefit even in being a board member the major benefit is that you're a decision maker 
you are one of the people that determines the future and the and and the life of the company it's a good thing number two is that you have privileged information that people don't have i'm not talking about insider dealing that's a crime in the market and you can go into that area you shouldn't do insider but that's not what i'm talking let me give you an instance i had a friend many years ago who was in the board of a company bank particularly and then when they decide that they want to hire before it becomes public knowledge he tells me we are hiring do you have candidates i used to collect cvs of people who come around me and say they want job and then i will pass the cvs over to him before they announce it openly my cv and my clan cvs is resting already on the table of the appropriate officer and because a director brought in the cv is also treated differently so if for any reason go to the board that you may help people who come around you particularly in this time that people don't have job to do so that's the benefit of going of becoming a, a board member and of owning shares the next benefit of becoming a board member sorry of, uh, of owning earning shares in a quoted company is that shares are one instrument that factor in inflation inflation in nigeria has become an issue eroding the value of our naira but shares factor in effect of inflation so when you see a price of a share at a time know that inflation is factored into it not many instruments have this attribute and we buy shares because when we buy shares we can go to sleep particularly if you buy a good one so it factors in inflation is a benefit of investing in shares so not many can do that having said that the next benefit of investing in shares is that it, it's very easy to divide particularly when there is interest of heirs heirs i mean is beneficiaries as of estate i know of a man he used to have shares also i used to manage his interest he has a house in lagos island from where we are operating and he had only one house this man has three wives in his life and had children from three other women so from six different women he had children and he has number of them quite a number i think he had up to 14 children and he didn't have much of house he had one house now the children from the older wife wives the old wife had become men at this time before he died and when he died he died without a will they have that house they came for letter of administration and were able to put in the shares into the letter of administration but the problem was the house who would you give who would you not give you cannot divide a house beyond a level if there were fewer it's possible maybe take one room up and that person takes the other but because there were quite a number they took it in order the children the, the most senior son took the better part of the house it got to a point that one person got passage i'm not joking and that's what happened thank god because it's in lagos island passage is money in lagos island he had a tenant on the passage who was doing photocopying so he put his photocopier on the passage and people patronize him there but he pays rent to that person because that's his lot that's what he got in shares it can be so because of indivisibility of property of of a house it's difficult to divide amongst people when there are not many if there were 14 houses maybe it would have been easy to go one 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 but he had only one house where he lived and died where those children all grew up most of them have left the house but it's their property and that's what they had if it were shares i have maybe 50,000 units of shares and i have 14 children we divide it amongst them if you get 200 is your own if you get 400 if you get 1000 so divisible so convenient to divide so it's a benefit that is with shares that is not common to other instruments and other investments so buy shares for that reason and i'm giving you why you must buy shares why you must patronize the market thank you for that again there there is also the very last one that we are treating today i call it noiseless store of value 
money is store of value you can store your value in a house you can also buy gold and store value but this one is peculiar because it's noiseless shares are things that except if I open my mouth and tell anybody nobody knows what I have I used to have a client many years ago who had shares worth over 300 million naira but you know he didn't even tell his wife his words the wife didn't know his words the wife knew the day the man died we went for his funeral and I introduced myself as a stockbroker the man stockbroker to the wife after some months the wife came to Lagos he used to live in Onitsha and came to her office I was managing his portfolio particularly so I remember sitting right in front or the woman was sitting in front of me and then I brought out the list of shares the man owns the first question she asked me what is the worth of these shares I said well at today's price I have done some calculation it's worth 324 million naira she, she nearly fainted off the table she didn't she hadn't seen out of such money never knew that the man had that kind of money the man was able to hide it I'm not encouraging it it's the wrong thing to do why we have unclaimed dividend accumulating every day in the in the in, in the market as such men that don't tell their family what they have and they, they, it's wrong I can't understand why any man would do that after all you're gathering all those things for them why would they not know maybe you say that if they know they will demand for more give them now that's why you made the money so it's another day's topic altogether so it's a noiseless store of value noiseless in the sense that if I don't tell you my word you don't know my word armed robbers will not come after me because they don't know my word kidnappers will not target me because they don't know my word because you invested in shares if I tell you my word you will know my word and some don't want you to know because they don't just want to, 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 to bring risk onto themselves. They don't want to be targeted for a thing. So if you want to hide, and you need a little hiding for God's sake, before people come after you for nothing, buy shares, invest in shares. The only person that knows your watch is your stockbroker. And we have a, an oath of secrecy not to tell people who are not supposed to know. Not even your wife when you are alive except if you give me a note to tell your wife your what I won't tell so these are some of the benefits that accrue to one who have invested in shares and this is why you must invest in the capital markets and shares in particular in particular for today next time we'll take another like you